This video illustrates the various data layers present in MGMT that can be extracted and displayed. The process involves drawing a polygon in which the data will be extracted and then selecting the desired data sets. The various data layers available include the digital elevation models at various spatial resolutions 90, 30, and 10 meter, bedrock top elevation surfaces, land use, soil type, weather data such as precipitation, temperature minimums and maximums, root zone depths, groundwater recharge, and elevations of 10 bedrock units in Michigan. The steps to create the model are as follows. 1. Click on the Create Polygon raster and draw a polygon in the area of interest. 2. In the Model Options window, go to the Dataset tab and check the following layers. DEM under Scale, select 10 meter for the DEM layer. Bedrock for the bedrock top elevation surface. LULC for land use and land cover. Soil type. Precipitation. Here, select Daily and select Date for which precipitation data is to be extracted. Data is available from January 1st, 1981 onwards. Tmax and Tmin. Select a date to extract values of maximum and minimum temperature. Root zone depth. Bedrock elevations for 10 bedrock units. The Jurassic, Saginaw, Michigan, Marshall, Coldwater, Atrium, Traverse, Detroit, Salina, and Niagara formations. And finally, Recharge. 3. Click Apply. All requested data is extracted and stored under the GW Flow Group and the Other Raster Subgroup. 4. By default, the flow field map is displayed, which can be turned off by unchecking the SWL layer under GW Flow. 5. One by one, check each layer that has been extracted and note the display. In some cases, like land use, land cover, or soil type, a clear legend denoting each color in the display is available. For most other data types, the display color refers to the range of values for each parameter type. 